Today we are in conversation with architect Samir Dharulkar, principal architect and founder of We Architects based in Mumbai. Before starting out on his own, he was working as a senior associate at Sanjay Puri Architects. We Architects cover an array of projects both in residential and commercial sectors and today we will be exploring one such luxury residence of theirs. Good evening everyone, I am architect Samir Dharulkar from We Architects. And here today I am showcasing my project of bungalow on the outskirts of Mumbai. It's a very beautiful luxury bungalow designed by me. And I'm happy to share it on the platform of India Art and Design. Good afternoon, Samir sir. Welcome to India Art and Design, a recent residential project. Could you talk us or tell us about your inspiration, the concept behind this design? So it was a big, it was a good uh, wavelength that we both knew each other since many years. So we both knew each other's way of working and he had given me a full freedom. It was only one point contact from his side. So that's why we could able to complete this bungalow project in a record break time of 14 months. The site itself is a big inspiration surrounded by nature in the outskirts of Mumbai. That's why if you could uh, see the interior also, which is very uh, nature friendly and nature urban material inspired, nature inspired in India. What were some of your biggest challenges that you faced for this particular project? A very valid question, ma'am. Client had a lot of memories. He has spent his childhood there, which I am rebuilding it with a new form, with a new form which is more sustainable, which is more maintenance free, and which is a unique culture. When we started in the month of March and uh, we could able to complete the foundations, there was a heavy rain. So it was a big learning for us, some materials damaged and because of a very high, very high humidity level. So we cannot stop the materials because in most of the time material comes in a bulk. For example, Italian marble, the laminate, the tiles, they come in a truckload. So even though you stack it, few materials have a good shelf life, but uh, especially the laminates, they have you cannot stack stop them in uh, humid. Weather. They generate bubbles and this. So, so finally, we did a lot of research and we came to know that it's because of the very high humidity. You should not stop some of the materials. Uh, you just get them and use it immediately. Some of the materials that you use then for this particular project, for example, you spoke about the ACP cladding. See, this uh, area outskirts of Mumbai is a very heavy rainfall, very, very heavy rainfall, almost one and a half times more than Mumbai. And uh, all the houses surrounding are facing a leakage. So we decided as it was a maintenance free, it was supposed to be a maintenance free house. So we decided to clear it with some material. Only brick walls or a concrete block walls are not 100% waterproof, but they are not enough to run. This is the amount of water falling into it because of heavy rains. So we decided to clear it. That was from the day one we had decided to clear it. Then we uh, visited few showrooms. We did few mock-ups also. We uh, selected some cementitious materials. Some clearing sheets or shena sheets. Or there are many sheets available, cementitious material. Another option was to clad with tile with the aluminum framing so that the cavity acts like a heat cutter also. And the third option was a ACP panel, which was uh, finalized because of the cost factor, because of the material availability. And this is the only bungalow in surrounding which is clad with the ACP panels who are woodly. How does this project incorporate sustainable measures? So in our terms, I would say is the sustainability is maximum use of natural sources and minimum dependability or minimum use of electric energy. So in this case, we have planned a solar, which is getting installed. So solar has become a big, big change. People are getting aware right now. And if you do it in a very correct way, even the Maharashtra government is giving a lot of subsidies and a lot of promotions for the solar. There are many bungalows in this area, their light bill is zero. So all that climatical conditions we consider and practically in this bungalow, 
you go to any room in daylight you are not dependent on artificial light you need not switch on any light in any bedroom any washroom any toilet so that is the good uh, which you find there is enough daylight in all the rooms uh, what's your favorite feature of the house entrance class why sir why the entrance because entrance it's the class most class? welcoming effect most welcoming effect and when i had uh, visited it after completion it's a very your thought process changed all the stress of your offers your handling sites your projects you are just become in a different state of mindset one last question if you weren't an architect what would you be doing instead i would have been a software engineer then <laughs> because my <laughs> second I, option I was, was software engineer <laughs> <laughs> all right so good day thank you so much thank you thank you